Dear ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to try and not tell you something. Yeah, it may come in several parts. And, um, I got some catalogs here on my desk. I thought I might look at it. One's from Micromar. That's something called the Boundary Waters catalog. I know y'all are probably wondering what's either that or you abandoned thinking about it. Uh, what's going to happen, uh, even if anybody knows who I am, by the way. Uh, but what's going to happen, right? Future tense? Um, Nobody knows. I know that. I know that I'm hopelessly marooned in the present, so don't anybody get any big ideas about my mental health, okay? I'm in the present. I'm not in the past, except by some miracle of God you can remember it. And I'm not in the future, because the future hasn't happened yet, except in the Revelation to John. Okay, so since it's only been like two days ago and Jesus was risen from the dead, um, how fast do you think the revelation to John goes? If you think it goes from chapter 1 to the end of chapter 6 in two days, I don't think so. Anyway, um, I found out some words that I... I know that I can't spell, but I didn't, I've never written them down before. <laughs> the words, these are the words, hallelujah, annihilation, and annihilate. Those are three words I can't spell. <laughs> so, anyway, it's um, November 3rd, 2023. And uh, in the meantime, I'm going to try and figure out where to start. So, uh, hold on a few seconds. You might be able to read me. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah. This goes way back to 1988. That's wrong. 88. 18. That's 35 years ago. Okay, I started working on something that I would work on for a long time and then I would just sort of fade into the next phase and fade into the next one, you know. And after a while, I had to look back on what it was I had started and uh, it just takes me... Um, well, where was I? Shoot, I mean, I'm so busy right now. Okay, I couldn't spell some words, right? Okay, and now, uh, things are different. It's 1988, uh, about four, five weeks, four weeks before Christmas, and, uh, George H. W. Bush win the election. Or uh, no, I can't remember. No, I think it, yeah, I'm pretty sure it was George H. W. Bush. Um, and uh, uh, just to jump ahead a little while, I began anyway. Jump back again. I re was recording everything I was being told because I tried in my apartment place it absolutely hated my guts uh, a really low income neighborhood and uh, I prayed uh, for a solution to a problem I had not ever ever been, or anybody for that matter has ever been able to solve <laughs> and um uh, I'm trying not to tell you something. Understand where I'm coming from? <laughs> uh, 
gonna not tell you something, okay? Uh, oh, see, come on. I'm try really trying hard to not tell you something, I really am. Uh, oh yeah, I, I prayed and and a miracle of miracles the Lord brought in my mind the solution to it. it took two or three seconds it was a long time to the Lord and me <laughs> and uh, I had the solution I got it's called the first inventor step right and uh I began writing. I had paper and pen because I was been trying to figure it out for like three weeks and nothing. I couldn't figure it out. And uh, after the, this revelation the Lord gave me, I began writing all the problems down. And I saw him and writing more and more and more came out and more and more and I went on like this for 35 years. I accumulated about 50,000 pages on eight and a half by 11 paper of my handwritten notes and shop drawings. And uh, only recently, recently being compared to the 35 years it's been, uh, recently, uh, I figured out how to do something, uh, a friend of mine in California, uh, told me, he didn't want anybody to know either, so I'm not going to tell you that either, because I've never told anybody, nobody even knows I've ever seen the guy, <sighs> and they don't know his name, <laughs> and I do, so, uh, I figured it out. It took it took about 32 years, going from 35 years ago to a couple of years in, and then bingo, I went to California, and that's where everything sort of happened. And I came back, got away with I got a ticket in South of Los Angeles somewhere because I was lost and ended up over at some entrance to a military base and I backed up and went trying to find my way to go east on the interstate and my, my uh, 70, almost 70, 67, my uh, accelerator pump failed and I had to pump and pump and pump and pump to try and get my truck up the ramp and get it up to some speed. And I, I looked in my mirror and there were these headlights, they were just buried in the pavement. The guy had his brakes on so hard he almost hit me. And I was going about 50 miles an hour at the end of the entrance ramp. And the next thing I knew, the police lights were blinking, 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 pulled me over, and the guy cited me for every last penny I had in my pocket in my bank account to my name. And I couldn't pay it. And I went on like that for, I don't know, uh, all the way over to the East Coast. I drove all the way back with a busted accelerator pump in my carburetor. It sucked and everything, but that's the way it goes sometimes. And uh, back then I smoked Buck or Murph. Some of you might know who thought that is. Uh, but I was able to get off tobacco uh, with a, uh, one of those electronic cigarettes. And I went from the full blast nicotine on the... Uh, vapor thing uh, for about uh, six weeks or something and then I'd go to the 18 milligram and uh, on that for about six weeks and then I'd go to the uh, 9 milligram on that for about six weeks and then three and then 
I think it's either one or two. I don't know what the last one is, the second to last one. And then the next one is zero. And when I got to zero, I smoked about three weeks. And I go ahead I put the electronic cigarette down. And I never picked it up since. And I never smoked no tobacco since. But I've been thinking about it a little bit, you know. Because I found a website that I think might have some good flavor spike tobacco on. I love uh, Pleasant Colony. Oh, I could smoke that all day long. <laughs> it tasted so good. And um, anyway, uh, I became homeless, and uh, I was homeless for about 20 years. And. Uh, I could hit them up for a job for a couple of hours. They always let me earn two or three dollars. And sometimes, at least most of them, I only did one really. <laughs> anyway. Um, so, uh, I'm still trying not to tell you something. Don't think I've lost track of what I'm talking about. It's just that I'm trying as hard as I can to say something and not say anything at the same time. You know, I don't know what that is. I'm sure. <laughs> okay. Those of, you, those of you who do, thank you very much for your service. Thank you. <laughs> uh, uh, I don't even know how long this video has been running. I don't think I have anything. Oh, there's Okay, I better get off here in a few minutes. It's going to turn over 15 minutes. So, uh, anyway, uh, I have to tool up. I'm almost have enough money to do that. I have to have a place to put everything that'll catch on fire in the garage into, out of the garage. And I have to haul in about $20,000 worth of machine tools. And uh, they're fun to try and pick up, I'm sure. <laughs> and uh, in case some of you think you can get in my garage, I don't know, I might be thinking about that in the meantime. So put your hands in your pockets and don't come over. Um, okay, what's next? Let's see. And once I get all the materials I need and that sort of thing, uh, I'll uh, try to build something from my very own personal drawings on my very own CAD software from the Libra, not sponsored, hashtag not sponsored. So, uh, I may set up a second part on this one. I have, might have to write some of it down, so expect me to be reading to you the next time you see a video of me doing this. Okay? Thanks. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.